I'm Dave Moats from reporting from the Tools from the Future conferences that we've been holding in Des Moines. We also have future conferences being held next week in Bloomington, Illinois, and also in Lafayette, Indiana. And a person that will be speaking there is Dorian Gatchel. Uh, Dorian is with Minnesota Agricultural Services. He's based out of Granite Falls. However, this is a, a crop consulting and a research firm that's been working recently with the University of Minnesota and Jody DeYoung Hughes on some compaction uh, studies. And Dorian, today you talked about the importance of soil structure. If you had to describe soil structure, what would that be if there's a phrase? Soil structure is everything to the field. There are so many things that can go wrong without the soil structure. There are so many things that will go right with the soil structure. And obviously what matters to all of us is that final yield. And by maintaining that soil structure, hence eliminating or uh, trying to avoid compaction because of that soil structure is, is probably one of the most paramount things that we need to be thinking about, especially when we're trying to push 250, 300 bushel corn. You gotta have absolutely everything that's going on in the field be right. So when people use the term soil tilth, is that one of the aspects of soil structure, one of the attributes that you want to include in there, or is it just another term for soil structure? Well, no, I, I guess in my mind, soil till, er, tilth, right. I mean, yeah, yeah, soil tilth is going to refer a lot to, yes, you, you got to have good soil structure, have good soil tilth. I mean, it's the amount of organic matter. It's the amount of uh, large clod, small clod, sand, silt, clay, uh, plant residue, uh, organisms, both macro and microorganisms that are going to enhance that soil tilth. The, uh, the less tilth you have, the, uh, the, the, the less porosity you have, hence the more compaction you have. And yeah, so they're very interrelated. If you do not have good soil, uh, uh, soil structure, you're not going to have good soil tilth. We talked about the impact that compaction has on yield. And I love the way you describe that is we can select the best nutrient program, the best hybrid program, the best crop protection program, but the fact is if the environment, if the home for the seed is not very good, it's gonna be limiting yield. Yeah, yeah, correct. That's something that I try to stress to everybody whenever I talk to them is that, you know, what makes your yield is not just the seed you plant. It's not just the fertility you cho that you choose. The seeding population, I mean, the, the list is, is endless, but it's how those genetics are going to interact within its environment. And one of the best ways to make an environment that is not conducive for the seed to be growing is, is compaction. I mean, among other things, yeah. but yeah, absolutely. You, you've got to have all of those aspects in there, and if you're not, um, don't have the mindset of creating that that environment I mean what are you what are you expecting you talked about mist today on compaction and one of the ones that struck me was a, the old wife's tale about free slaw cycles taking care of compaction and you're in Minnesota and it gets plenty cold up there but in fact you have to have a lot of free slaw cycles to even have an impact right yeah, yeah, correct. I mean, up in Minnesota, I mean, as I said in the meeting, you know, we got about 10, 10 months of winter, uh, which it seems like. Um, we have basically one freeze-thaw cycle. It freezes in the fall, we stay frozen, then it uh, thaws in the spring. And that's just not enough to break up that compaction. You got, yes, you got to have multiple uh, freeze-thaw cycles before that really takes a, any effect. And another, uh, another myth is deep tillage is not necessarily a way to eliminate compaction either, right? Well, let's put all that into perspective. The best way to remediate or to, uh, to take care of compaction is to have good soil structure. The best way to get rid of good soil structure is to till. Now, you got plant residue, you've got all kinds of other things. You, you have to till. You can't just go out there and not till. Um, but yeah, if you've got a very heavy uh, compacted, maybe you do have to deep till to break things up, but the multiple passes of tillage, headland tillage, all of that, you're just setting up an environment that does not have uh, soil structure, and hence the next time you put that tire on that soil, especially if it's got some moisture in it, you're going to be compacting again. Well, and that's some of the many discoveries that we've made at these conferences. And like I say, Dorian's going to be speaking next week in Bloomington, Illinois, and in Lafayette, Indiana. Certainly come by the Tools for the Future conference because you get a chance to talk with Dorian and talk about the topic of soil structure and the huge impact that it ha is having on yields. As we talked about earlier, as we push the envelope to 300 bushel corn, compaction is going to be playing a larger, larger role in limiting those yields, isn't it? Absolutely.